the Galaxy cat behaviorist and host of Animal Planet's hit show, My Cat from Hell. <laughs> We're also joined by Mackie, our cat adoption of the day from Best Friends. Welcome. Thank you Welcome. for being here. I have to look at the title of the show, and I think uh, people connect to it because they're like, Oh my God, my cat won't do a thing I try to yeah. teach him to do or want him to do. Yeah. And as a cat behaviorist, right? What what do you do? Like, what is a cat behaviorist? Well, I mean, basically, people have been calling me over to their houses for 20 years now to say, my cat's peeing on the pool table or under the bed or, or my cat's attacking another cat. So it's usually just pee and poop and blood and guts, and that's yeah. my life. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. It's lovely. It's very glamorous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very glamorous. Yeah. We actually have a clip of you helping Pigpen get rid of some of his, of his aggression. This is a cat, Pigpen. Yeah, yeah, the cat is named Pigpen. Yes. Uh, you, you help him get rid of some of, his, uh, some of his aggression, excuse me, from this Saturday's episode. Yeah. Let's take a look. What's going to cause you to hold your breath right now? You reaching out to pet him. Ah, there it is. I can see what Christy is concerned about. That boy can get really snappy. That was a chomp, but that was me. While he's as activated, agitated as he is, I'm going for the full body pet. Right. Right. So that should be common sense. But it's really as unpredictable as uh, Christy is telling me, then we got a problem. Excuse me? See, look. Mm -hmm. Right? What do you want more? You want that or you want this? You want to bite me or do you want this? I mean, he's not aggressive. I don't think he has a ton of control. The more we just exhaust, the better he's going to be. Pigpen has problems with social cues. He scratches a little too easily. He bites a little too easily. He gets a little overstimulated. All of these things can be worked with. Oh. There we go. Oh, when, uh, when did you realize... Like, as I watched that, Debbie was saying the same thing. You yeah. Know, the cat seemed like it wasn't attacking. It, it was, was aggressive playing. playing but... Right. You seem to have the ability to really understand that. Where did that, when did you first realize well, I, I, like a cat? Well, I've worked in animal shelters for over 20 years now, and that's how I started. I started working in a shelter, and there was a night that I was working at the shelter, and, and it, there was a huge, terrible thunderstorm, and all the cats in the place were freaking out. Yeah. And at that point, I was working on this technique, the slow blink technique, you know, where you just blink very slowly at a cat, they blink back at you, and it's this really amazing communicative technique. And I figured at that point, let's, let's put it to use, because it it was like Armageddon that night, and 45 cats later, and everybody's asleep, and the, you have that sort of moment of clarity where you're like, okay, maybe this should be my, my living here. So wait, the idea is you blink slowly. To yeah, it, I, we call it the cat I love you. So if, if you've ever noticed that you can do it with, with your cat at home, where you start with sort of a soft face, like you're not staring, right? right. You're, you're gazing at them, and then we do it silently. I love you you just a slow blink Aww. a lot of times you're gonna get that blink back from them and that's their way of saying I trust you I close my eyes to you and that's that in you do that with a cat and you've established this in with their own way of communicating Paige has a hundred cats but have you tried this are you have you heard actually I didn't know it was a thing but I we call when we have it we have a double blink kitty so if you get the double blink it's both eyes closed, and it, it, it is only with people that he trusts. Right. Oh but I do have three cats. I need to ask you this while I have you here. Uh -huh. I feel like well, <laughs> you're not getting out of my grip yeah. until I find myself. <laughs> um, I have, all of course, cats have different personalities, and you see that every week. Um, when a cat is so skittish and so afraid, how do you introduce it to a group or into a room? You know, the first thing that you want to do is introduce by scent first and then sight afterwards. So I use a technique, first of all, we call it base camp. When a cat first comes in your house, let's say that you were to adopt Mackie here. Mm -hmm. You want to adopt Mackie? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Is there room for four cats? Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, anyway, uh, you bring Mackie home, and he goes into his own room. He has a room, and in that room, he has his blanket. He has his bowls. He has his litter boxes. Everything that smells like him. That's how they define the sanctity of territory. What smells like them? Then what you can do is start feeding them at the door with the other cats on the other side. Every time they smell food, they smell other cats. The only time they smell food, they smell other cats. They go, okay, the other cats are a good thing. Mm -hmm. You start with smell and then graduate. Ah, interesting. Yeah. It's, it's You're really like teaching. The, yeah, well, it's really teaching <laughs> us how to understand them. There's nothing really wrong exactly. with them. Exactly. how we have to learn. Yeah. Well, it's like what you guys were saying before. You, you know, you were saying, well, you would, maybe you would think that this cat is attacking when all he wanted to do was play. So many people use the word attack when they're talking about cats being stimulated. And that's the yeah. first thing that we want to get rid of, the yeah. thought that cats attack. Mm -hmm. I don't know one cat 
that would run across a room and attack you. Right. You know? Yeah, exactly I know, right. I know cats that will run into the other room for no apparent reason. Or hide under the bed, that's right. true. You talk about this handshake. Yes. Can you tell us what the, what is it and can you demo it? For yeah, me? it's called the three-step handshake. And the way I, I want you to think about it, if you're meeting a cat for the first time, it's like you're meeting a human for the first time. You're not going to run up to that human and throw your arms around them and kiss them. and love. Right. You're going to introduce yourself to them slowly, right? And with cats, even slower since they are prey animals and they may think that any first person is going to be a threat to them. So the first thing that I'll do is the blink. I will blink at them. Now, uh -huh. of course, this guy's underneath. He's falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> he is, man. Yeah, he's purring he's very and everything. very comfortable right? with you. Um, and but the idea uh, is to do I'll the just blink. do the blink with him and wait for that blink back. Okay, now he gave me the blink. Wonderful. Now let's move on to the second step. Now I'm going to introduce my scent to him. And I don't want to just pet, because again, that's just like you're not asking, right? So the way I ask is I take my glasses. They have my scent all over, especially, you know, the ear right here. And I'll present it to him. And let him just take a little smell, right? Wait, why the ear? I mean, because right here, uh -huh. you have your scent, right? Your scent is really strong back here. You can put a pen back here, a pencil, anything that's got your scent all over it, present it to them to smell. Now what we're about doing like the garlic breath. Would that exactly. be a Exactly. Okay. Although you may want to. The cat uh, might fall over dead. I, I'm just yeah, trying to spare the Altoid thing. Right? <laughs> and so you give him a smell here, and now we've introduced ourselves. A lot of times the cat will then take my glasses and rub it up against their cheek. That's a handshake. Aww. Their scent glands are right here, right? So they're rubbing their scent against your scent. Now we're friends. And now, third step, I can pet. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Interesting. So how long in that first step in that blink, you wait until they blink back or you don't advance to the second I don't stage? advance. Especially, I work with a lot of feral cats um, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of community cats that don't have a lot of uh, experience with humans. Yeah. And I just want them to know that I'm not a threat. I have a 10 second clip, I think, of that blink. Since oh, we couldn't get, we couldn't get <laughs> back to do it. But let's take a look. This is what the blink would look like right here, right? This. Oh. There's your blink. That's what you should be looking Look for. Look at how relaxed the oh, face awesome. is, right? Oh. That is and a very good. It must be almost trust because they're really completely that's, closed. It, and think about a cat in the wild. A cat in the wild is smack in the middle of the food chain, yeah. right? They are the best hunters on earth as far as I'm concerned, but they're also hunted at all times. Yeah. If they close their eyes to anybody out there in the wild, they are literally saying, I trust that you are not going to kill me. Right? And Whoa. that's what you're getting from them when you get the I love you. Did you, did you, did you get it? He just did it. You got a blink? He just did it. He just did it to me. The Mackie is Ooh, available yeah. for adoption. 14 year old beautiful cat that seems yes. ready to be blinked at or blinked hey, with. Hey, listen, let me tell you, folks, when you go looking for a cat, 14 years old, look at what a wonderful companion he is. There are senior cats crowding the shelters all over the United States right now. Do yourselves a favor, especially Father's Day coming up. Be a dad to a senior cat. Man, these guys need your help. Great words. Wonderful. Be sure to watch Jackson in My Cat from Hell, Animal Planet, Saturdays, 8, 7 Central.